we have another Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing. In this case, it is the USS Raven, which is the Collective Organized Play Event Month 2 prize ship. Okay, so here we have the contents of the USS Raven. Uh, first, a quick look at the ship itself. And it's not that exciting. It's a small ship. It's got a little bit of paint detail. The paint detail actually is pretty good. And wow, the warp these cells actually look really good. I don't know if we'll pick that up on the camera, but uh, they've actually got some detail in the warp in the cells themselves. And the paint's a little thin, so it kind of looks like a highlight. It's a really bad mold line, though, right through the middle of the ship. But overall, oh, it's got some really nice decal work here on top. So but overall, this is definitely one of the better looking ships that I've seen. Uh, so let's take a look at the cars. First, we have multi-adaptive multi shields. This upgrade only functions while you have active shields. Each time you defend, roll one plus one defense die. When defending, you you roll your full defense dice in spite of scan tokens, and you roll your full defense dice against minefields. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Federation ship. So it's five points tech. Um, that's quite a bit of defense to your ship. Uh, no doubt, no doubt about that. It's a completely passive ability, so that's really cool. Reinforced structural integrity. Each time your ship takes damage, place one of the damage cards that your ship receives beneath this card. All excess damage affects the ship as normal, so that's one per attack. You cannot place critical damage cards. Once there are three damage cards, discard this upgrade and all damage cards beneath it. And cross five points, additional five points for any other ship in the USS Raven. So it'd be ten points on another ship to gain three, three, um, basically three ablative points. It's a little spendy for what it does, I think, for anything other than the Raven, of course. Uh, research mission is an independent elite talent. During the roll defense dice step of your combat phase, you may disable this card to pull, roll one plus one defense die. That's really good. It's a disable. It's a, uh, not an action, and it's only two points. That's actually a pretty efficient card. Not bad at all. Captain Megas Hansen. Uh, three, three skill elite talent and only two points for independent. During the modified defense dice step of your combat phase, you may spend one scan token to add one additional evade result to your defense roll. And you do not play a faction penalty when assigning him to a Federation ship. So that's, uh, you spend, you sp actually spend this scan token to gain an addition, not an additional roll, but one additional evade result. So it's basically. You take a scan and you get an evade out of it, um, which is pretty cool. If you get something that gives you like a free scan token, like a bat flagship, so you take the scan token and evade, and it gives you basically two evades. Not too bad. Airy class, very maneuverable, not very fast. No red maneuvers. Um, two banks are green. Come to come about is white, so very maneuverable ship. It even has sharp ones. That's really cool. I don't see those very often. Here's the standard ship. Again, 14 points, only one attack, two tech slots. Not very exciting. Generic captain. Aaron Hansen. During the planning phase, after all ships have chosen their maneuvers, you may discard this card to target one enemy ship at range 1 to 3 and look at that ship's dial. You may then change your maneuver. This target ship cannot change its maneuver after you look at it. So, three point independent discard. Um, again, I really like the idea of that one shot changing your maneuver thing. Because uh, it can, uh, unless you're playing board against board, of course, but if you're playing against non-board, uh, having that the right maneuver at the right time could really, really change the game dramatically. So I've always, and, and it's a very good point efficient, and only three. I like that. USS Raven. Each time you attack or defend, if there's a scan token to check your ship, your range combat bonuses are doubled. So that would be the extra evade dice at range three and the extra attack dice at range one. So if you scan, you get three attack dice at range one, or you, and you get three evades at range three, or four evades at range three. So again, 16 points, three shields, two haul, two evade, only one attack, uh, two tech and a crew slot, and no way to weaponize it very easily. So I don't know how useful the ship's going to be in actual play. You might be able to stack on a bunch of defense on it and just let it tank, but uh, I think there are better ways to do that. So, that's really it. Let's see, real quick look at the tokens. Nothing exciting or special, just the uh, tokens you need to play with the ship. So that's a real quick look at the USS Raven. 
which is a very, very uh, fluffy ship from the, uh, the uh, Voyager series. But as far as the game goes, it's, it's not really going to make a big of an impact, but the cards are kind of cool. Uh, they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. I wouldn't, they're not great, but they're not bad. So thanks for watching.